Hello friends, in this video we will discuss some basic terminologies which are used in the chapter of these sets. So first of all those terminologies is subsets. What is subsets? Let us consider two sets, set A and set B. So we can say that A is the subset of B if and only if the all elements of B are available in the set of A. Symbolically we can represent it as A is the subset of B this is a symbol which represents the subsets where B is the elements which belongs to the A implies that B also belongs to the B means the B is the element which belongs to the both of the elements A and B so these are called the subset of A A is the subset of the B so let us take two few examples for example I have write set A which is A B C I have write also set B which is A B C and D so I have written two sets A and B so let us focus on those two sets set A contains three elements A B C and while set B contains the four elements A B C and D so we can see that set all elements of the set A, A, B, C are available in the set B. So this can be represented in the symbolically A is the subset of B. So we can see that A is the subset of B. In the subset conditions there possible three conditions are there. First means phi is or phi or empty set phi is a symbol which represents the empty sets or null sets empty set is the subset of all sets if we take any set it must have a subset which is empty set or phi there is another condition which is every non empty sub every non empty set has two subsets which are phi or empty set and itself means if i say there is a set a which is non empty so it must have two subsets which is phi and itself a and the third condition is third parameter is how can we know how many number of the subsets are available for any set so we use the formula 2 power n the 2 power n where n is number of elements in particular set means if I write set A which has one element only one so we can write it as 2 power n so n is 1 so we can see it's two so it must have two subsets which are phi and a itself which is one these both are the subsets of the a let's take another example let's say b is equals to the a and b so it has two number of the elements so let's apply the same formula to power n means it has 2 power 2 elements means 2 power 2 means 2 square means 4 so it must have 4 subsets which are phi a b and itself a b which is equals to the b this is the subset of the a b this is subset of b this is also subset of b and it is also subset of b so we have seen three conditions phi is the subset of all for all sets if set a is the non empty set then it must have two subsets which are phi and itself a and third condition is how can we know that how many numbers of these subsets are available for any set so this the formula is 2 power n which we use to compute how much number of the subsets of any set can be written so it is 2 power n so there are two types of these subsets 
which are proper subset proper subsets second is improper subsets let us consider two sets to understand the proper subset if we consider set a and set b a set b is the proper subset of a means set b is the proper subset of a if and only if b is the subset of a and there at least one element additional available in set b what i mean if i write set two sets 1 2 3 and set b is a 1 2 3 so we can see that set a has three elements 1 2 3 and b has one a 1 2 3 so set b has four elements the number of the elements available in set a are three the number of the elements available in set b are four and all of the elements available of set a are available in set b so it should be called as proper subset of b a should be called as the proper subset of b because it it is the already set it is the subset of the b and subset b has one additional element at least one additional element so it is represented symbolically as a is this proper subset of b and if a is the subset of b and it is not proper subset of b means it is improper subset of b improper subset means it contains similar number of the elements similar number of elements what i mean if i write a is equals to the 1 2 3 4 and b is equals to the 1 2 3 4 4 it means a and b both are the subsets of each other in particular condition when the two sets are the subsets of each other then it means these both are the improper subset of each other means how can we can simply rep represent it as a is the improper subset of b or b is the improper subset of a which is also means a is equals to the b means all equal sets are improper subsets of the each other so this was all about the subsets in our next video we will discuss super sets and universal sets hope you find this video helpful and please do comment and subscribe my channel thank you